So I'm digging out this area where we're going to plant a grapefruit tree. And what do I find but another pipe that's capped? Gee, what a surprise. So I'm going to cut that to the right and cap it again. This is our laundry room pantry. And one thing we're going to do before we're going to have the house stuccoed is we're going to put in a window and have a window put in on that wall back there. Because we turn out the lights, it gets pretty dark in here. So I'm thinking about a rectangular window, maybe a foot tall and three feet wide. Before we do that, you can see there's an outlet right there. And that, that cord valve, electrical cord, goes up there and through the ceiling into the attic. So I'm going to have my electrician, he's coming tomorrow, pull that wire through and I can remove the outlet. So I'm going to have room to put a window up there. So my plumber electrician is coming tomorrow to do a bunch of work in preparation for stuck on the house. One thing we're going to have him do is that faucet right there, the one on the left. The one on the right is soft water only. I use it to fill the jacuzzi. The one on the right is a normal thing. Is that the way I add the water to it? I'm going to move that, called hose bed, but a hose fucker, up to about right there. So we have to bend over to, to um, turn it off and on all the time. So now I've hooked up the last station line. And I'm going to turn it on. If it's everything's working correctly, I should have water coming out of those bubblers here. So let's go have a look. We'll see. Success at last. So as part of that pre stucco preparation work, I'm touching up the um, these masonite walls. There's I've got two or three masonite walls in this house. So like here, I've painted all the uh, painted the part where the paint had uh, peeled away. But also on the bottom here, here you can see right there, they didn't paint the bottom edge of this thing. So that allows moisture to come up from the bottom and weaken and compromise the stucco. So like over here you can see, like right there, that's been weakened by the, by the moisture in there, it comes apart. So in order to get good coverage there, I took a paintbrush and I, um, Back up. I cut the handle so I can have more direct contact with the tip of the uh, brush to get good better coverage and if I still have spots where the paint's not taken I'll just use a can of spray paint to seal that guy up